Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Charlotte and in today's video I'm going to be chatting through 10 spring wardrobe staples. So these are some key pieces that I think work perfectly styled in spring and can be styled in lots of different ways to create lots of different spring outfits. As I chat through each item I will be showing you examples of pieces I already own. Bear in mind most of these pieces I've had in my wardrobe for quite some time so I will also be inserting some cutaways of some really great alternatives that I found online if the pieces I have are no longer available and of course I will leave everything linked below in the description box but if you do have any questions about anything at all then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible and if you do enjoy the video I would love it if you could subscribe for lots more fashion content but let's get going with the video. Okay so first up is a trench coat and I think that a good trench coat is such a great wardrobe staple for spring when it's that little bit too warm to wear a proper coat but you still need that extra layer a trench coat is perfect and it elevates the most simplest of outfits like jeans and a t-shirt and really kind of gives it that cool stylish put together look i actually styled this one in a recent reel over on my instagram i will pop a little cutaway of it in here um, and i started off just with white jeans and a blue and white striped shirt which is a great spring outfit pop it on the trench coat over the top and it just makes it look that, like that really kind of cool put together look. Um, this one is from Everlane. I got this last year. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, obviously I will leave it linked, but Everlane always do some really great trench coats. In fact, I have actually grabbed another one here, which I've had for over a year now. This is one of their draped trench coats. And these, this is like a really super soft kind of flowy, comfortable option whereas this one is a little bit more structured slightly thicker fabric and more of like a classic trench coat they're both great it just depends on your personal style i spotted a couple of really great alternatives from and other stories they always do really beautiful trench coats um, slightly higher price point but always really lovely quality and they've got a couple of lovely kind of classic beige options which i will leave linked and then as an alternative to this one i spotted a really great option from stradivarius under 50 pounds and it looks super similar to this really similar tone and really similar fabric as well it's got that lovely flowy drapey feel to it as well so i will leave that one linked too um but i just think a trench coat is such a great wardrobe staple and one of those pieces that you will then bring out year after year after year they're not going to date they're not going to go out of trend and they just yeah they just look great and also just to mention, I featured a beautiful satin trench coat from Karen Millen in a recent reel I filmed and it is stunning, really lovely. So I'll also leave that one linked. It currently has 30% off at the moment. Um, and also I am thinking about filming. Last year I filmed a top 20 trench coats video and I was thinking of filming something similar this video this year maybe like top 10 and just picking out some really great trench coats to show you um, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing okay next up is a leather jacket and I know being black and leather it doesn't necessarily scream spring wardrobe staple but for me spring is the time when I reach for this the most like I wear it so much just with again with just jeans and a t-shirt as a really kind of easy throw on outfit but I also love the way a leather jacket looks styled over the top of a midi dress just a simple midi dress with trainers and a leather jacket is such an easy outfit that suits so many different ages now this one is from All Saints. I got this a couple of years ago. It is beautiful. I highly recommend it. The quality of it is gorgeous. It is still available. I will leave it linked. It is obviously a slightly higher price point being from All Saints, but I do think that they do great leather jackets and they've got loads of different styles as well. This is obviously a slightly more kind of biker style with the belt detail at the bottom and the zip detail, um, but it's gorgeous love this i also wanted to show you this option from karen millen you may have seen i worked with them recently on an instagram reel and i featured this jacket in that video and it is beautiful again really lovely quality this has got a slightly kind of slightly less casual feel to it than the all saints one the leather feels that little bit in fact if i just hold them next to each other you can see the leather is slightly more black on the Karen Millen one and a little bit more dressy as well and then if you saw my recent vlog when mum and I were shopping in the White Company you will have seen that she purchased a beautiful leather jacket from the White Company that was in the sale I think it was reduced from 350 
to 210 so a really great price and a slightly more mature classic feel to it because this detail like the button detail on here these are all black so it just makes it that little bit more muted and that little bit more wearable if you're slightly older and you want a slightly more kind of mature option i think it's beautiful so i will also leave that one linked as another option but i'm not sure it's still available at the moment but i think it will sell out pretty quickly because obviously it's in the sale um, but yeah, I wanted to mention that too as another great option. Okay, sticking with outerwear and my next spring wardrobe staple is a neutral blazer and it's no secret how much I love a blazer all year round. I tend to wear a black blazer a lot in autumn, winter. Again, all year round I wear a black blazer but I thought in spring in particular it's nice to introduce lighter colours and a neutral blazer you cannot go wrong with. Again, great with just jeans and a t-shirt great over the top of dresses, great with shorts or skirts or smart trousers. Um, this one is from Everlane. I've had this for over a year. It is a linen blend blazer and I have worn this so much, especially in spring summer. I've also got this one to show you from And Other Stories. And the reason I pulled this one out of my wardrobe is because, again, I got this about, I'd say over a year ago now. Yes, it was over a year ago. It was Black Friday, the year before last. Um, but it is back in stock and I know so many of you love this blazer and although it is a wool blend so it's slightly more suitable for winter I still wear this a lot in spring especially on those cooler days when you want to wear a blazer but you still want a little bit more warmth this is great and looks amazing just styled over the top of jeans and a t-shirt so I will leave this link below if you've had your eye on this for a while and you've been waiting for it to come back in stock it is now in stock. And then another firm favourite of mine and a new in piece in my wardrobe is this beautiful cream blazer from Reese. And this is just stunning. And again, I would wear this in the same way as the previous ones. Jeans, trousers, this could be really easily smartened up with a nice pair of trousers. Great of an evening with some wide leg trousers to dress it up a little bit more. But again, cute with shorts or dresses as the weather gets a little bit warmer as well. And I did spot some really lovely blazers on Reese as well when I checked. This one is no longer available, but they've got a beautiful camel blazer that's a very similar style to this. Um, so I'll leave that one linked. And it does also come in a lighter beige as well, which again is gorgeous. And other stories have got a gorgeous single-breasted beige blazer. In fact, it's a very similar style to this wool one, but it looks a lot more lightweight. So again, perfect for coming into spring, summer. I will leave that option linked too. And then I saw a gorgeous beige blazer on Arquette as well that looks like a really lovely style. And then for a more affordable option, I spotted this one from H&M. It's £24.99, so a really great price point, And it looks lovely. H&M do really great blazers anyway, so I will also leave that linked as a more affordable option. My next spring wardrobe staple is a white linen shirt. And again, I wear white shirts so much all year round, but I tend to go for more cotton shirts in autumn, winter, and then coming into spring, summer, I am all about the linen shirts. This shirt, simply styled with a pair of blue jeans and tan accessories, is such a lovely, simple spring outfit. This is again from Everlane, it is still available and it's really beautiful quality, 100% linen and yeah, just a really lovely quality shirt. But I have been looking around and you can get some really great linen shirts from lots of different places. H&M have got a very basic one for $17.99 that looks really lovely and again comes in quite a few different colour options. And then they've got a more premium option for $34.99. Slightly more of an oversized fit but again looks really lovely and still a great price at $34.99. And other stories have also got an oversized linen shirt in more of like an off-white cream tone. And it's that little bit longer as well so it can also be worn as a dress. I'm pretty sure it's the same as one I got from there over a year ago now because they tend to bring out the same pieces each year and if so i also wear that one as like a dress or a bit like a kind of swimsuit bikini cover up in the summer as well so great versatile piece and i think that one's 65 pounds and then i spotted a couple at arquette as well they've got a lovely classic linen shirt 
for £55, which looks a very similar style to this one. And then they've also got a linen shirt in the sale as well, reduced from 59 to 29 and it's a collarless linen shirt. Again, a little bit oversized, and I think it comes in blue as well. Next up is a blue and white striped shirt, and this has got to be one of my most worn pieces in spring. I just love how it looks styled with blue denim, with white denim in particular, with smart navy trousers or beige or cream trousers. It's great as workwear, but it's also great styled underneath the trench coats or the blazers as well. And I just think there's something so spring-like about blue and white stripes, whether it's a shirt, a t-shirt, a knit, I just love blue and white stripes in spring. I got this one over a year ago and unfortunately it's no longer available, but I have found some really great alternatives. I spotted a very, very similar one to this from Abercrombie, I think it's 55 pounds, and it looks super similar, really lovely, fine stripe. H&M have also got a really great option for 17.99, 100% cotton, and they also do a linen shirt in blue and white stripes as well, which is also 17.99. I spotted a slightly more brighter blue option from Cos, an oversized cotton shirt, which looks lovely. And then if you saw my Mango versus Zara video a couple of weeks ago, you will have seen I actually compared compared to blue striped shirts in that video and they're both gorgeous as well. Next up, a pair of white or off-white jeans. And I feel like it goes without saying that a pair of blue jeans are a great wardrobe staple all year round, so I didn't feel the need to include blue jeans. But I think coming into spring, a pair of nice white jeans is such a great wardrobe staple and can really elevate a simple look, whereas you'd usually wear blue jeans. Switching for white denim can just really freshen up an outfit and give that real spring feel to an outfit. Um, and I mentioned off-white because these were more of like an off-white, slightly kind of creamy tint to them. And I think it can make them look a little bit more expensive. Sometimes when you've got a bright, stark white denim, they can look a little bit cheaper, whereas this off-white tint is really lovely and they just look really lovely quality. These are from Everlane, they are the cheeky jeans. They are still available, so they will be linked. Um, they have got a few different style of cheeky jeans, so I will make sure I leave this exact pair. Um, but yeah, they're great, really lovely fit, really lovely shape, really flattering, and I highly recommend them. Um, but for a more affordable option, again, H&M have got some really great white jeans. They've actually got a lovely pair of straight leg jeans that are $24.99, and they come in white and cream as well, so you've got both options there. And other stories have also got a lovely pair of straight leg jeans that are £75. They come in white and more of like a creamy beigey tone as well, and their jeans always fit really well, lovely flattering fit. Um, and then you can't go wrong with a good old pair of Levi jeans as well. The 501 Crops, they come in white and they're just a great pair of jeans. I've got them in the blue and they fit really well. And again, one of those pieces that get better the more you wear them. Next up are midi skirts. And I personally think that a midi skirt makes a really great spring wardrobe staple because they look cute, simply styled with trainers, a t-shirt and a leather jacket as a really easy spring outfit. Um, but while it's still a little, a little bit cooler, they also look great with knitwear and boots. And then coming into summer, they look great with a vest top or a cami top and sandals as well. I've got a couple here to show you. This first one you may recognize from a recent vlog. I picked this up in the White Company sale and it is beautiful. The tone of it is gorgeous. And I actually styled this in a recent reel on my Instagram. I'm not sure if it'll be up yet, but if it is, I'm going to pop a little cutaway of the reel in here. Um, and I styled it exactly how I mentioned before. T-shirt, trainers, leather jacket. Love how it looks styled like this. But I can see me styling this in so many ways. Spring and summer, it's just beautiful. And then if I just flip the hanger over, this one is from Amazon Fashion. I got this last year. And again, really beautiful. A similar style, they're both pleated. And I love that kind of pleated style of midi skirt. I just think they look very classy um, and can be styled in lots of different ways. But obviously a simple satin slip skirt is also a really great option for spring and looks great styled lots of different ways as well. I spotted this one from H&M. It's $34.99 and it also comes in black as well. And then I spotted a beautiful, really finely pleated skirt at Cos in a very similar 
colour to this as well. Very similar tone, um, but slightly higher price point. I think that was £70, but it looks beautiful. And then this one from And Other Stories also looks pretty similar to this one, but it's in the sale, reduced from £45 to £21. So a real bargain, and it's still available in lots of sizes as well. Next up is a midi dress, and there are so many different styles of midi dresses out there. But I feel like having a great midi dress that you feel amazing in is just a really fab key piece for your spring wardrobe. So I've pulled out a few that I wore lots last year. First up is this gorgeous one from And Other Stories. I got this last year, but it is still available at the moment and it comes in lots of different colors and patterns as well. And the shape of this is just gorgeous. It's so flattering and it looks fab. You can dress it down again with trainers and a leather jacket, for a chill day outfit, but you can also dress this up. It looks fab with heels. It looks lovely with sandals as well. I wore this so much in spring, summer last year. And yeah, just a really beautiful, flattering style of midi dress. So I will make sure I leave that one linked. This one I got from Amazon Fashion last year. And this is slightly more, I'd say this is edging on being more of like a, a summer midi dress but you could still definitely style a piece like this in spring because again, it looks cute with a leather jacket and trainers, or you can layer over the top of this. So you could wear a shirt over the top of it. You could wear a fine knit jumper over the top and have it as like a jumper and a skirt with trainers or boots. Um, and yeah, just a really lovely shape and will also take you into summer as well. And then this one I actually got a few years ago from Zara, but it's one of those pieces that I bring out year after year. And again, it styles up in lots of different ways. So again, with trainers and a leather jacket is one way I like to style this a lot. Um, but it also just looks cute styled with boots. It's great dressed up of an evening. Um, and I always get lots of compliments when I wear this. It's just a really lovely, feminine style of dress and great as workwear as well because it's like that shirt style so it's that little bit smarter you could style this as workwear um obviously it's no longer available but i did spot this one from mango which is again a snake print shirt dress more of like a brownie tone but i thought that looked really lovely and then this black one from a brand called align is also gorgeous i love the big floaty sleeves on it. I feel like it'd be a really flattering style and would also suit lots of different age ranges as well. Next up are linen trousers and linen trousers are one of those pieces that I love styling up coming into spring. I think they look great with a white linen shirt. They look great with a cami and a blazer over the top. They look great styled with a leather jacket and maybe a fitted vest underneath. Um, they're just so comfy, so versatile and just a really great wardrobe staple at this time of year. So this first pair are from H&M. I got these, I think I got these a year before last, or it may have been last year, but I wore them so much last year. They are so comfortable. They're really soft, they fit really well. They're very high-waisted, so they look great styled with a little crop top as well, just showing a tiny little bit of tummy. <laughs> um, but yeah, really great pair. I think they're about $24.99. Now this style are no longer available, but they may bring out a similar pair this year. They do tend to do a similar style most years, so I will link it if they do come available. But in the meantime, they have got slightly more of a casual style point over there, slightly more of a casual style. Um, again, I think they're $24.99, they come in lots of different colors, and I think they're called a linen jogger. Um, but yeah, I think they look lovely and very wearable in more of, a, more of a chilled way. And then this pair, I also wore a lot last year, very similar style, very similar tone actually, if I hold them next to each other. Um, but I'd say these were slightly smarter, a little bit more dressy. These are from And Other Stories, got them last year, I've just checked, and they are available again this year in all sizes. So I will leave them linked because they are such a lovely pair of linen trousers. They come with the belt as well, which is great, but you can also remove the belt and pop on maybe like a tan belt to change up the look if you prefer. Um, and they're lovely quality. They're just, yeah, really lovely. They wash and wear well. I'd say that these are definitely a better quality than the H&M ones. The linen feels a little bit thicker and they don't go as baggy on the knee when I wear them. But yeah, 
they're both great linen trousers and then i also spotted a really lovely pair from arquette as well they look quite similar in style to the h&m ones very simple but they look like they'd be really lovely quality as well 100 percent linen um and yeah just another great option and then my final spring wardrobe staple is a bit of an obvious one i did um and ah as to what to put as the final piece i thought about maybe mentioning a denim jacket but I'm still yet to find the perfect denim jacket. And so for me, it's not currently a spring staple because I don't really have one that I wear all of the time and style in lots of different ways. So I didn't want to include that, even though I think a good denim jacket probably is a great spring staple. Um, but I decided to have my final spring staple as a fine knit jumper. And I know it seems a little bit boring, a fine knit jumper coming in spring, but I feel like this is such a wardrobe staple, especially this time of year when you're kind of not wearing so much chunky knitwear as you would in winter. You still want that little bit of warmth. Something like this is perfect. Now this is 100% cashmere, which I think makes a wonderful wardrobe staple and a piece that you will wear again and again and again just because it feels so lovely to wear but obviously it doesn't have to be cashmere you can find some really great alternatives around that i will link to um but i just think this styles so easily in spring great with jeans great with the white jeans great tucked into the skirt you could even style this over the top of one of the midi dresses you could wear it underneath the blazers and the trench coats and the leather jackets. It looks cute tucked into linen trousers as well. It's just a really great wardrobe staple, especially in a neutral color as well. Uniqlo have got some 100% cashmere jumpers that are currently in the sale and they've got lots of different colors available as well. Marks and Spencers is always a great option for cashmere jumpers and always a reasonable price as well for the quality. Um, but obviously, like I mentioned before, they don't need to be cashmere. So I'm also going to pop in some little alternative options. Um, Amazon Fashion do some great alternatives. And if I can find some other great options, they will be linked as well. Um, but that is all 10 of my spring wardrobe staples. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I would love to know if there's anything in particular that you think is a must in a spring wardrobe that I've missed out. Um, do leave a comment and let me know. If you did enjoy the video and you found it useful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you could subscribe. Um, and as I mentioned before, everything will be linked below in the description box. And for those of you that have messaged me before saying you're not sure how to find the description box, if you just click on the little arrow next to the title of the video, I'll pop a little picture in here so you can see. But if you click there and then scroll down, you'll see links to everything down there. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely everything. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.